Hello, all you wildcats and you crazy little wild crit heads. This is your boy Kev, aka the Dirty Dog, aka I am your dungeon master. And this is just a little heads up to let you know that we recorded episode one and episode two in the same night. And if you listen to our first episode of DM It All to Hell, it's kind of like a behind the scenes podcast. You know that we had some troubles that night recording. We had to re-record a bunch of stuff. We had some mic setups that were giving us a little bit of problems. And you probably will notice that we all sound really tired because we did record this at midnight after having to re-record some episodes and starting over. So I promise from here on out we're going to have a lot more energy. It's going to be faster paced well put together all that good stuff so just keep listening and stick with us because it's just gonna keep getting better from here on out episode three beginning with that we're gonna take all your feedback into effect and uh, make the show as great as we can just keep making it better so for this episode you will have the same problems from episode one where there may be a little bit of pacing issues like it is a little bit slow in some spots but i still think it's a lot of fun it's a great listen and entertaining we're going to work on the mic etiquette uh, from here on out as well. Make that better and just keep making the show as, as best as we can. So if you have any feedback, any way we can make the show better, just let us know. We'd love to hear it. You can support the show by either just listening, rating, reviewing on iTunes or your other podcast uh, apps. Or you can sign up for our Patreon that we share with The Brothers Commonplace. That is our other podcast. And you can support the show that way. With this being a brand new podcast and just starting off, it really, really helps us out if you leave us a good review. So if you could take a couple minutes to leave us a five-star review and a rating on iTunes and subscribe to the show, that would help us out tremendously. Otherwise, we might get lost in the void of millions and millions of other podcasts out there. And we just really want people to listen. We want people to notice us. We want to be on the charts. And that way we can just keep getting bigger and better. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'm going to stop talking now and let you enjoy the episode. If you want to reach us, you can find us on all any of our social media, thebrotherscommonplace.com, our Instagram and Twitter is under Brothers Commonplace. And alrighty, enjoy the episode. I got to be honest with you, one beard. I don't know what the hell's going on. I've never walked away from a fight before. Yeah, I know, Terry. Something weird is going on. I never seen you walk away from a fight before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, one beard. I don't know what it is. It's something about the way that guy, the one with the long hair in the back, just something about the way he was talking to me made me not even want to fight anymore. Man, Terry, that's some crazy stuff. You've never walked away from a fight before. Yeah, I know, one beard. We just said that like two seconds ago. Anyways, you know, I think this is just what I need, hanging out at a hideout, the Wolf Boys. In townhouse, he's giving us all the drinks we want. This is what I need to recuperate. Recuperate? What does that mean, Terry? It means we're gonna stay in here for a little bit, drink some ales, maybe train up, and then when they least expect it, we're gonna jump them guys and them goyles, and we'll make them sorry they ever crossed paths with the wolf boys. Oh yeah, Terry, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, it does, warm beard. Yeah, it does, and... Be honest, I ain't been feeling that great lately. What what's been what's been going on, Terry? What's what's happening? I just been thinking about my father a lot lately, one bit. Growing up, I didn't have too many good memories about my father. And back when I was just a little guy, like just how I am now, but I was just like a little little boy, like a little version. I was a member of the Cub Scouts. And in the Cub Scouts, I was a wee below. You ever heard the Weebelows one beard? Yeah, ain't they the era? Corn. Yeah, they're the corn. The era corn, right? Yeah, the era corn. That's the Weebelows. Anyways, there was this big event coming up called the Pinewood Derby. And each Cub Scout got a block of wood and they had to carve it into a little wagon. And then you would take the wagon, set it up at the top of the ramp and they'd race other wagons. And the winner got this big, beautiful, golden, shiny trophy and... Oh, I wanted that trophy so bad, one beard. And my dad, my dad, he was also a Cub Scout when he was just a little guy. So we made a pact right then and there. We were going to win this Pinewood Derby trophy together, father and son, Cat Stevens. And so we stayed up all night, one beard, 
All of our blood, sweat, tears, fears, and a whole lot of dad's beers went into that wagon. And the next day came. We took our wagon to the competition. We put our wagon at the top of the ramp up and we fucking lost, yeah. We fucking lost one bit. There was even a kid there who forgot to carve his wood into a wagon. It was just a block of wood and he fucking beat us, one bit. He beat us. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, Terry. Oh man, I'm here for you. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, I know that one beer, but that's not the end of the story. That night, my dad, he left our family. I fucking hate that guy. Oh man, Terry, that explains all your, your unrelentless built up rage. Yeah. And we're gonna take it out on them guys and them two goyles. When they least expect it, we're gonna be waiting for them and we're gonna attack them and we're gonna pretend that they're my dad. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea, Terry. Alright. Thanks, one beard. Welcome everyone back to Same Crit, Different Day. This is episode two. We got the uh, the Chase Collective, got their very first job opportunity. There were no battles in episode one. However, the dice are warmed up and ready to roll, ready to go. Because there's going to be some battles in this one. How's uh, how's everyone feeling so far? Ready to go, baby. Sabo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sabo's ready. Well, anyone else? Anything you guys want to get out or mention or talk about before we jump into the I adventure? want some coin, and I don't care if it's got blood on it. <sighs> you want some coin? Some coin of the wild man? You got to earn that coin of the wild man, Toof. Who's Toof? You mean Garth? Yeah, that's right. I didn't like how you said that at all. Garth? I hated that. Why? Did it scare I don't know. You? Yeah, it just made me a really Garth. uncomfortable. I'm very I'm gonna put this D20 in my eye. <laughs> okay. Two. And I'm gonna roll it out of my eye onto the board. If it's a D20, you get a coin of the wild man. Or if it lands on 20. <laughs> it was a natural one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it deserves one. With, with a natural one, you just have to do the rest of this episode with your fly unzipped. And we're not sure <laughs> if you're floppy woppy saying it out or not. <laughs> Well, I actually tape my wonker up to my belly button, oh, so nice. I'd have to pluck my balls out of my zipper. Great. Well, it wouldn't be the okay. first time I've seen that. So, the Chase Collective <laughs> have just accepted their very first job opportunity. The Swishers are hiring them to go along with Clive to go to the Swisher family mausoleum, the Crips, and to bring back a bag of gem dust. You're not quite sure what it's for. Clive tells you some sort of spell or ritual, possibly. He doesn't really know magics. And along the way, you ran into a group of hoodlums, some teenage hoodlum boys called the Wolf Boys, and almost had a little little fight going on there, but you managed to talk your way out of it and escape them. Almost feel like in a past life, we could end up killing them. Mm, but yeah. good thing we didn't. Yeah, good thing we didn't stab them through uh, the heart weird thing <laughs> multiple deja times. Vu. It was an arrow. Or the stomach. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> a dart to the knee. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, when we left off, Clive came walking out of the darkness, smoking a cigarette. And he says, well, all right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Oh. <laughs> I guess we're on the highway to hell. <laughs> now, just a bit of warning before going any further. The Swishers, they're kind of a uh, tricky family. I know y'all haven't been here too long, so I don't know what you know. I, I wanted to quote Chili Cartel. Hey, do you think uh, Stinkbait has any idea what's going on? Well, the man knows what he knows, but he don't, don't know, know too, too much. much. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. But Clive uh, says, by now, I'm sure you understood that something out of the ordinary is probably going on here. The Swishers are indeed cursed. Once they die, their souls can never rest and the bodies can never be completely destroyed for good. Even if they're beaten down, cut to pieces, or eviscerated, they'll be back. So be careful in there. 
Don't trust anyone, and especially little Nicholas, that little some bitch. If you see him, put an arrow right in that bastard's eye. I want to roll for. Right. Would deception be toward me or toward him? If you want to lie to Clive, no, no, no. If I want to know if he's lying about this, make Nicholas an kid. insight check. Oh, insight, insight. insight. Every time he says swishers, I want to swish and flick when guys. Oh, I was going to ask about that. How does that work ten. helping ten. with a ten. insight yeah. rolls or, in, or stuff like that? If, if someone is 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 like, like to talking to you and you want to know, like, are they lying or you just want to get a feel of them to see if they seem nervous or anything, you can make an insight check. With the 10, I mean, he doesn't seem all. He doesn't seem like Who the he's, hell is Nicholas? Little yeah. Nicholas, he was one of the Mel. swishers. How old did he die? What do you mean was? Well, we're going into the mausoleum down there where the Swishers keep their dead. Yeah, I believe he was about five years old when he passed. Well, Fell from a die? tree. Then why oh. why did I got put an arrow in him? I'm just saying, if you butthead. see him, that little tricky asshole, he'll try to steal your shit. Put him down. Okay. He'll reach my knees, but okay. Punt him like a fucking football. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't let him near you. Lay hey, Dan, lace is out. <laughs> Ray Finkel. Uh, yeah, so um, Clive tells you the mausoleum is just behind the estate back this way. Uh, you got everything you need? Real quick, you're giving me permission to kill a Swisher. Hell yeah. On their property that they hired me to do. As long as we're in the mausoleum. Look, once we get in there, it'll make more sense. Is Sweets going to be down there? No, he's inside uh, with some halfling girl. Inside the actual estate, the mansion, the big ass mansion right here. He's up there. Hmm. Well, I think we're ready to head on in. Yes, Sabo is very curious to see what is in store for the party. All right, so the group. I'm I'm going to light a torch. Okay, so you light a torch. The four of you and Clive make your way to the mausoleum. And once you get there, Clive pulls out a set of keys. He steps to a set of double doors, this stone mausoleum. I ask him if uh, he's the only one with keys to the mausoleum. Uh, no, the all the Swishers, they, they have their way in it. This is just an extra oh. set made for me. So you're the crypt keeper. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so you find yourself standing outside a stone mausoleum, dark and gray, with a large set of closed double doors. Clive reaches into like a padlock on there. Unlocks it, opens the door, says, "All righty." I get a, sh I get like shivers up my back. Yeah. Ooh, I haven't smelled this kind of death since I was last played a gig at Betty White's house. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. She's been alive that long. Wow. All right. Yeah. I'll she's take still, your word for it. She's still alive, even though this is like what 1500s. I don't even know what year this is. The 1500s, Earth time. Dude, what is this? We don't know. Dude. I also have a question. For Clive? Yeah. Uh, yes. So uh, if we come across any, they're buried with valuables. If we uh, beat them down, if they come for me, can I take whatever is on them? Like, I don't know. If I mean, a ring keep, were to slip off their finger. I just... Keep in mind, this is the Swisher family that is hiring us to go go down here and do this. So but even they though know? they're technically still walking, you would be robbing this family. You know what? I would say maybe not rob the family, but if someone happens to punch you and leave their Way hand behind. stuck inside you, yeah. maybe. You never know. Maybe. But they only paid us to get the bag of magic dust stuff. Gem dust, yes. Yep. <gasps> Thank you, Clyde. <laughs> Clive, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's mosey on. <laughs> The double doors open into darkness. Although it's difficult to see too far inside, the torch does help, and your nose picks up the scent of incense at first, but that quickly vanishes as the smell of mildew and just wet dog sweeps past you. Mm. The small chamber has Tasty. a few barrels and crates, a small table with old rotting plants sitting on it, and then a set of stairs going down into the ground and leading to another set of double doors. Also on the wall beneath the cobwebs, in a layer of dust, there's a small plaque with names on it. Wait, so you what guys can find yourselves in that room right there. I would like to look at the plaque of names, please. 
And what did you say we smelled when we first got in here? What dogs? Burning. It's like mil well, in like incense basement. at first. Like you get uh, like like you ever smelled someone who tried to cover up a yeah. really bad smell with like a candle. I was just wondering if this was like a Kentucky crypt or something like that. That they they do incest in there. My bad. Oh, no, oh, incest. Dude, sorry. Come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, yeah, yeah, you guys find yourselves in that first room right there on the map. So if you want to put your miniatures there. Okay, so you're reading the plaque. Yes. On the plaque, you see these names. Sir Raynell Swisher, Angelo Swisher, Dedrick Swisher, Holly Swisher, Irene Swisher, Bertie Swisher, Clifford Swisher, Beavis Swisher, and Nicholas Swisher. Wait, Sabo wants you to go back. Beavis. <laughs> Beavis. <laughs> no, I Can you Beavis? Beavis? Are you just saying this out loud to me? Or I'm, just, like, I'm just saying it out loud to everybody, okay. but to no one in particular. I want to know why only one of them is knighted. I don't know the complete history of the Swisher family, to be honest. I just Did you just know Nicholas personally, and that's why you want us to no, pun I did him? No, oh. oh, okay. All right. Did Have you, you know? been down here before? Yes. Okay. Did you know Beavis? No. <laughs> Beavis. Well, if he's a ghost, could you tell him to beave us alone? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Clive leaves and... <laughs> He locks us in the crypt. <laughs> he said, Clive does look at you and say, all right, now, you all go in and find that bag of gem dust. I'm going to stand up here at the top guarding and make sure nobody leaves. Wait a minute. Wait, Be what? careful. I thought you He's said you were going to go with us. Dead well, I brought you oh. in here. I unlocked it and gave you the job opportunity. I'm going to wait at the top of these stairs, and I'm going to make sure that no one gets out. Can we have a key for good measure? Yeah. You want the key? Yeah. Just to get out in case you... Well, I'm up here standing at the top. Just in case. Sense motive? Can Sabo sense insight? motive? Can I do insight on him? This seems fishy to okay, me. Okay, make an insight check. 21. 21. Um, he says he's standing up here, standing guard to make sure no one no one leaves. And yeah, he seems like he's being uh, pretty forthright, pretty honest. Doesn't seem like he's... Will you, Pinky, promise that you will not leave us and lock us in here? Look, I, I promise I'm not going to leave. Pinky promise. I pinky promise. Hey, we're already dealing with possibly eight ghosts. They don't want four more. Yeah, don't leave us with beavers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I just realized? We are... We knew we were going into a crypt with ghouls, and... We have like holy water, holy symbols. Oh, I, uh, do. I don't think they're not ghosts. They're full on walking dead bodies. Oh, we're good with zombies. All right, let's go. All at right. Least that's what I picked up. There so. is a set of double doors at the bottom of these steps. So I just assume that me and Sabo lead the way. So you head downstairs to the first to another set of double doors. I'm going to ask Ilria. Yes, sir. To check the steps in front of us to see how often someone's been in here, if they can. If there's any fresh oh. footprints. Is that a good one? Would that be an investigation? Yeah, make an investigation check. I got a 12. It's not very dusty, so it does look like sometimes people come down here. You wouldn't be able to tell how often or when the last time was. Would okay. be able to check the incense before we oh. skedaddle on down to see how much has Wait, been yeah. burned you or mean how like recently. Incense, right? yeah. yeah, so there, there is like some incense that was placed in the front room. Oh, okay. Also, there is some plants here, but those are rotting. All right, so what are y'all doing? You're standing at the front of a set of double doors. With, like, I'm door really handles? I'm really nervous. Yes. Okay, Um, I'm going to open. Uh, Do they open inward or outward? Inward. I don't think I like this adventure. Yeah. You should definitely check the door first for traps. I'm scared. Okay, somebody hold my hand. That's a good idea. Maybe before I open it, I should have someone check. What kind of check is that? For is that a... looking for traps, investigation. 19. Uh, does not appear trapped, does not appear locked. All right. I open it. Okay, you open Push the door. All righty. The door slowly creaks open, revealing a large, dark chamber. The middle of the room has four support columns, each showing signs of age, scratches, and chips. At the far end of this chamber is a raised stone pool holding a dark liquid, and behind it, a stone tablet. There is a hallway that leads to the west out of this chamber and a set of fancy stone doors to the east. The doors have an unusual color palette that feels extremely out of place for this dark crypt, but maybe not so out of place for the Swisher family. The doors, bright red like rubies, decorated with the paintings of green leaves and vines. The door handles are gold 
and it also has three keyholes placed in a triangle formation dead center where the two doors meet. Three keyholes? Yes. I'm going to take a step in and make a perception check straight ahead. Okay. I don't, I don't care about any black goo. I don't care about any... Oh, what the fuck is this thing That's called? a stone like tablet up against the wall. I don't care about no stone tablet. Where the fuck is that brown pouch? Okay, so you're stepping in the room first? <laughs> yep. I looked at uh, 16 okay. straight ahead. Well, you can't read that tablet from this far away because you are pretty far away. I don't care about no tablet. <laughs> All I care about you don't is see, the brown pouch. You do not see a brown leather bag anywhere either. I would like to check to see that door's locked. Which door? The three keyhole door. Okay, you're going to go check it out? Yeah. Okay, so you move to the set of double doors, the red fancy ruby doors. Mm-hmm. Where's she going? And to the there west. are three oh. keyholes. You guys want to check out these doors? I would like to check out the stone tablet, please. Okay, you make your way to the stone tablet. Sabo, what would you like to do? I guess Sabo... We'll check out the stone tablet as well. Okay, uh, hold up though, moving his figure. Since Sabo is the last one to leave the hallway, we have Hush and Garth Crooks checking out the set of double doors to the east that are locked, that have the three keyholes. Ilria, who is going to be checking out the stone tablet. And Sabo, as you are making your way into the room, since the doors open inward in this room, and you feel a hand grab your shoulder and a voice say, Hey, you want to know a secret? I know a secret way into that locked room. There's a secret door by the double doors there. You just got to move the lower stone. So, since we are building this new friendship here, is there a secret you want to tell me? You're not looking at this guy at all either. You just feel that shoulder, your shoulder get grabbed and you hear that voice. Yeah, you want to turn and see who it is. And this guy is kind of like whispering it to you. But you look back and you see that there is like a six foot tall humanoid there. And um, he has a dark cloak on. And he's also wearing sort of like a plague doctor's mask. You know, it's like the beak. And that is really all you see, just this figure in like a dark cloak and a dark mass so you can't see any of his features is this quiet enough to where i hear it um you guys are checking out the locks on the doors right now so we're kind of almost like yeah shuffling. so he kind of grabs saba as you're entering in the room and kind of is like whispering this into his ear i just want everyone to know that the figurine kind of looks like palpatine and the rise of skywalker <laughs> <laughs> all righty that's fair i don't like that the door is locked and he wouldn't give us keys yeah so those three doors are locked um he does what? not how are we supposed to look for a pouch if we don't have keys i don't know who are you asking that to i'm just in general i'm frustrated okay i like you've been in this crypt for 10 seconds tops mm-hmm. and hush well, is throwing a fit <laughs> where is it <laughs> i'm i'm nervous so Saba, what are you doing? Uh, should I make a perception or insight check on this guy to see, like, if he's be- if he has darker motives by trying to ask for my secrets? I mean, you could try an insight, but that's kind of like reading their face and trying to understand. Oh, what they're saying. this not- guy is full in mask. You have no oh, idea. Oh shit, that's right. Okay. Yeah, it'd be very difficult. There's no body language I could sense. Like, is he? You just had a hand on your shoulder and him say, "Tell you oh. about a secret way into that room," and he wants to know if you have any secrets for him. Ilria, go ahead and make a perception check since you're checking out that stone tablet. I would say eventually I'm going to look around and see what... I guess I heard her shuffling over here. So I'm going to take a peek and see what she's doing, but I'll wait till the turn is over. Yeah. I had the dog blow on it for good luck and I rolled in that one. (laughs) Oh. Yeah, so you don't really notice anything out of the ordinary. Um, You do see on the plaque, though, that it says the Swisher family, may they never rest. And then under it, there is the name Estrella Lovelace. I also take a gander at this water. Okay. This thick liquid. Sabo's going to turn to this weird plague masked face guy and say, Sabo's not sure what secret you would like to learn, but is willing to reveal ah. something if it will actually help. Any secret. Let's hear a secret. And at this point, the rest of you notice that Sabo is talking to this figure that is in all black. That's what I asked. I was like, do I hear Sabo okay. talking to someone? Because keep in mind, everything that happened, like a round of combat is six seconds. So you guys have been in this room like 15 seconds total. Yes, yeah, so you all notice Sabo talking to this figure. Well, I can reveal one thing to you. 
Sabo says. I am searching for some type of cure for, I don't want to go into too much detail, but I'm on a search to find a cure for what happened to my village that I'm from. Damn, what the hell are you talking about over there, Sabo? And I turn around. <laughs> all right. And that's all I want to reveal to you, masked face guy. Is that a good enough secret for you, Sabo? That was pretty good. So Sabo, your name's Sabo. Sabo Grimshanks, the name. Sabo Grimshanks. Excellent, excellent. That was a pretty good secret. Is he still whispering? It's, it's kind of coming out as a whisper. He's also wearing like this plague mask. Okay. So. Should I make a perception check to see what the hell Sabo's talking him to? Yeah, you can make a perception check. So Ilria, looking at that pool, the water is, is so black and still that it kind of looks like a black stone. But looking down at it, it's pretty hot down here. And as like a, a little bit of water drips off your forehead, it does hit the water and make it ripple. So it is, in fact, liquid, but it almost looks like black glass in a way. I would like to try and I'm going to take my rapier and I'm going to try to stick it in. Okay. Yeah, you take your rapier and you start splashing around in there a little bit. Just splashing around. Well, I'm peeking around the wall looking at the figure, but I'm definitely really jumpy now. Okay, make a perception check then. So you're peeking around that corner. <laughs> I rolled 14 for perception. Three. Three. So you don't notice anything really. You just see this figure. Garth, you hear a couple things. Looking around, there is a, a torch light because Hush is holding a torch. The ceiling is about 10 feet up. A lot of cobwebs. So you're seeing shadows. But you also feel like you see something moving around a little bit, like all over. Could be spiders. Could be bugs. Uh, okay. Who really knows? And then at the far end to the west, you hear like a dragging noise. And you also hear a little bit of Wait, does Sabo hear this at all? No, because, uh, yeah, you don't really hear it either. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> I hear something coming from that west corridor. Sounds like a, a dragon. And a, as you A dragging body. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you say that, what appears to be the zombie-like creature, it looks like a human, but you can definitely see some rotting flesh, pieces of skin missing, but very nice clothes on, come walking out of the shadowed area over there. And then at the same time, everyone make reflex saves. Dexterity saves, I'm sorry. Right, you just had your dex modifier? Yep, uh, if okay. you're proficient in it, you get a proficiency modifier. All right, so Sabo, what is your dexterity save? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Ilria. 17. 17. 12. 12. 7. 7. Okay. High five. <laughs> as as that, that zombie creature, whatever that is, comes stumbling in from the shadows over there, at the same time, things start to fall from the ceiling. Aww. Sabo and Hush, you feel something land on your shoulder. It could be a spider. You're not really quite oh, sure what it is, no. but something does, in fact, land on you. Garth and Ilria, you notice these are hands that have just fallen from the ceiling. Well, goddamn, you guys see these hands on the floor? <laughs> I do. Those six hands fall from the ceiling, two land on you. So there's one on Hush, one on Sabo, and then four on the ground. So everyone go ahead and roll initiative right now. Someone give me a hand. <laughs> well, you said four hands. She, he said six. Oh. There's four on the ground and then one on Hush and one on Sabo. So we'll go ahead and we'll do some initiative right now. You wanna go lowest first? So I can start that bad boy off for you. <laughs> Sabo is ready six? to finish talking Three. to this guy and oh, whoop no. some hand ass. Are you negative? One plus my dexterity modifier. Oh. Already around the table, Sabo, initiative. 14 for Sabo. 14, <laughs> Ilria. 17. 17, Garth. Three. Three, Hush. Six. Six. Party on guard. Looks like we're bringing up the rear. <laughs> All right, starting off are going to be the hands. So there's going to be one that is on Hush that is going to attack you. No. Gonna try and claw you. I can't. So. I won't allow it. The one on your shoulder. That's going to be a hit of 19. That's not a pat on the back. <laughs> Low attack. And you take three damage from that. The one on the ground is going to try and crawl at you and attack you, attack your feet, Garth. As it's attacking me, who's the guy that always like has the panties thrown on on stage? Is it like Wayne Newton or someone, some musician? Uh, maybe I'm not quite sure. Or uh, like Bruce Springsteen, maybe. Possibly. What did he? What do they do to make the panties throw at them? I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Well, 
Man, I haven't seen this many hands reach at me since all those ladies at the last gig I played one of my panties. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. It's a 15 hit. Yeah. You take three damage. All right. The one on Sabo is going to attack. Not going to hit him. 14. Ooh, doesn't hit. Does not hit. Mm. And there's going to be two on Ilria that are going to move to you. Five and a four. And then one more on Sabo. A seven. So that's a miss. Next up is Ilria. I'm going to pull out my rapier, my dagger. Alrighty. So uh, we're, we're dual wielding right now, and All I'm right. going to take the hand to my left, and I'm going to swing my rapier down and try to, like, flick it away. All righty, like let's do it. With a flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist, flick of the wrist. And I miss because I rolled another one. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, natural one. You but go to stab <laughs> at it and just miss completely. This little hand, this little bastard is pretty quick, but you do have your off hand with your dagger Scuttles still. Scuttles away. So uh, I take my dagger, and I try to, like... Throw it down at the hand. Try to pin it down okay, to the one yeah. in front of me. I like that. 13. 13. That's going to hit. Yeah. Exactly. Right. right on the dot. Wow. Oh, nice. Six damage. damage. Six damage. Excellent. You throw it down, pierce it. Boom. The hand quits moving. It's gone. So go ahead Quit and take the one so off. handsy. <laughs> You're you rascal. Ha -ha. All right. Is that it for Ilria? I'm going to... I can't disengage as a rogue, can Negative. I? Negative, not yet. You, you can move, but you will there. get an attack of opportunity if you leave that threat range. There is fine, already. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah hell, it. I'll do it. Sabo. Sabo's going to try and attack. Oh, wait, there's three on me? No, there's two. There's one on you and one on the ground. Oh, well, whatever one's on me, I guess. I thought that was behind okay. me. Yeah, so there's um, one on your 11. shoulder. 11. That's going to miss, unfortunately. That was no. with your stick. You tried to smack it off your shoulder with the stick. I was trying to but missed. It but, went too far down hit my butt. But you can, <laughs> instead, you're going to use your fist to try to punch that one off. Oh, yeah. I'm going to punch it off my neck. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Dude, he's going to give you a cheddar cheese. Wet willy time. Eight. I rolled an eight. All right. That is also going to be a miss, unfortunately. Sorry, Sabo. Did you want to move or anything? I'm going to stay there. All right. You're going to stay there. Next up. It's me. Not quite. Your mega dice. It's not. Not yet. <gasps> it's the hooded figure. You actually don't know about that. The zombie. Technically. Oh, no. I forgot about that guy. No. Oh. No. You better not have <laughs> fetid claws. What the fuck? Does a zombie have 30 speed? 20. It uses his movement oh, to move 20, speed. then uses his action to move 20. So it can't oh, do so anything you know, else. Moves. Oh, good, that's, good. That's sexy. And also, the hooded figure is going to... What? No. <laughs> Sabo said bye-bye. <laughs> it, ha oh. it has to push that door closed to stand there. And he goes, ah, I got it. Oh. I'll get this son of a bitch hand. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. So you're going to give us a hand? <laughs> Allow me <laughs> to give you a hand. One point of damage. Oh, he shit. He grabs Woo. it, and then he, he slams it on the ground. Like he just pulled a fish out of a pond and slammed it on a rock. All right, Gollum. Go. Just like Gollum. Oh, hell yeah. All righty. Next up is Hush. All right, I'm going to take the hand that's on me. Take the hand that you're dealt. <laughs> yeah, the hand you dealt me. And I'm going to walk over to the water and I'm going to drop it in. Okay, you do that and you will get an attack of opportunity against you. That's fine. No, no, no. She can go here, here. You can't, well. Oh, yeah. No, because, okay, put your guy where you were. Uh, I mean, I guess technically you can do that, but. Okay, so you can move there and do that, but Either, you do if need... If you want to do the attack of opportunity. No, there, there won't be one, but you do need to make a check, either an opposed athletics or acrobatics, whichever you want to do, to try and pull this hand. Because it's not really grappling you, but you do have to catch it. I will take athletics, please. Do athletics, and that's going to be versus his acrobatics as you try to catch it. Because imagine there's like a spider crawling on you. You got to try to get it. I don't want to imagine that. All right, it's a decent roll. Wait, it wasn't in the thing. You gotta oh. roll in the thing. Roll. You gotta roll in the dice box. You know the rules. Oh, all right. I got you. I mean, all right. Right. You know the rules. <laughs> the worst. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. Seven. Okay, you're trying to catch it, but you just you can't get it. Wait, does that mean she doesn't move then? No, she moves. Oh. Okay. But she goes there and spends her action trying to grab this thing to throw it off, but she can't catch it. It's too quick. It's like crawling under her armor and scratching her now. Alrighty, that was your action. You're moving. Did you want to do a bonus? I don't like this. <laughs> That's all I do. Okay, next up, Garth Crooks. I'm going to use my hand to pull away my bangs to get a look on this situation. Oh, wait. 
I already cut those things off ages ago. Hell yeah, the <laughs> only mullet in the world of almond. I take a peek around to okay. look. Who is most in danger for my bartic inspiration? Well, you can inspire anyone you want. There's a, a hand behind Sabo. There's a hand on the shoulder of Hush crawling into her armor. There's also one in front of you that was trying to attack you. There is one behind Ilria. And there's also a zombie behind Ilria. Since I see that zombie heading toward her, I say double trouble, not in my bubble. Oh, <laughs> all right. I like that. <laughs> and uh, I cast Bardic Inspiration on you. All right, I blow you a kiss. What do oh. I have to do for this? That's it. You just give her bardic inspiration. You can either sing a poem or a song. You don't have to if you don't want to, unless you want to. I you wrote the 1d6 or d6. What's that mean? Uh, oh, she gets a d6. She can add to a roll or a save. It's oh, a d6 okay. and not a four. And then what are you going to do for your action? I'm going to attack the... I'm going to scoot one scooch. Wait. Okay, you can do that. I'm going to attack the hand in front of me. The green or red one? Number two. Let's do it. Roll an attack. I guess you shouldn't bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> oh, shit. It is holding a hot dog. <laughs> it's holding your hot dog. So it was me uh, when I was 13 years old. Yeah. Got into the butt flap. What the fuck is with these fucking shit rolls? Oh, my God. Garth, what happened? <laughs> it is a D6. Seven to attack. That is a miss, a miss. They're just stupid hands. It's too quick, man. This hand's they're too, quick. They're little. They're just little guys. It's like guys. trying to step on a spider, man. It's too hard. Next up. We have the hands. The one that is crawling in your, your armor hush is going to try to attack again. No. 17. What the? Why I know, do they I'm rolling well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That doesn't hit. 17 doesn't hit? No. Oh, shit. He misses. And oh, it actually yeah. turns into a nice caress. You had a little knot in your back, and this hand was trying to attack you, but ended up getting that out. Oh, thank you. The one in Ilria. See if that one can hit you. Nine. That's going to be a miss. In Nine. Ilria? Um, no. It's in me. <laughs> no. And now the one behind Sabo. Oh. No. 13. That doesn't hit Sabo. Sabo is safe. Sabo is safe. All righty. Next up, Ilria. Get it. Wait a minute. All, right. All these hands are missing. Number two doesn't attack me? Uh, Did I not attack with that one? Hey, it's too late. You already said it's yeah, her you turn. Did. You already said it's her turn. So that one's going to try and attack Garth Crook. Should it get disadvantaged since I brought this um, up? I'm a 12. <laughs> We're good. Okay. All, All right. these hands are missing. They're trying to scratch and... Looks like they can't put need hands hand. on me. Oh. Maybe they should join our group since we oh, all fucking can't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Talk for yourself. Okay, Ilria, you are up. All right, dual wielding. We're double fist in this. Double fist in these hands. Let's do it. So I'm going to take my rapier and slash it down at that hand again. All righty, roll an attack. Oh, big one, big yeah, one. 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> What did you get? A nat 20. I like oh, the excitement, yeah. but holy shit. <laughs> That's right. my first nat Double 20 damage. in this campaign. All right. And then add the modifier the once. Kill it. Uh, so I got 30 HP left. She only dented it. <laughs> the hand. That one hand. <laughs> Nine. Got 100 HP. All righty, and that hand is gone. You stab through. You cut all them fingers off. I said, not today, son. And then I take my dagger and I try to go for the zombie. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack. When you said you had 30 HP left, I was going to make like an HP joke about the dude that has Adele. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. 11. 11 it's a hits. Lot. <laughs> All right. Yeah, zombies aren't too uh, too hard to hit. They're slow and... That wasn't in the dice tray. Not in the dice tray. I rolled a three. Three damage. Cool. Next up, we have Sabo. Oh, yep. Sabo, you're up. Go Sabo, Sabo is ready. Hey, Sabo. It's Sabo your birthday. Italiano. <laughs> oh, that was better. All right, Sabo's going to attack the hand with his quarter staff. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Can cheese. Sabo got a seven. Sabo is not happy. Yeah, that's a miss, man. You still got your, your martial arts, though, to follow up with. All right, then he's going to, since it's to his left, the uh, staff miss, but he's going to try to elbow it right in the middle knuckle. <laughs> <Fuck> <laughs> you <guys. laughs> You're going to elbow this hand. That's We'll say the hand popped up right as you did that because it is on the ground well, he's, <laughs> trying to well, attack you. He <laughs> he's going to drop. He he's going to elbow he, drop it like, a, like yeah. a professional yeah. wrestler like that doesn't. Man. Yeah, like, what is it? Elbow drop Jesus? Is that what you yeah, guys always yeah. say? Yeah, macho man, dude. He, well, we're in a crypt. We might fucking oh, see him here. It's a little bit better. <laughs> 
12. That's a hit? Woo. Oh, no, that is a miss. I'm sorry. Oh, Fuck off. It's 13. It 13, sorry. Oh, good. We know it was armor class. Yeah. Oh, you got At least got we him. found that out, everybody. <laughs> All right, so oh. next up, we have that zombie that is in front of Ilria, and it's going to try... To eat you. It's going to try and slam you. Just kidding. Oh. And you rolled a five. That's going to be an eight. Too late. An eight oh. too late. <laughs> and now, Sabo... As you're fucking around with that hand on the ground. Spoiling and dancing because I can't hit shit. The, the cloaked <laughs> figure behind you is going to reach his hands out. And he's going to try and grapple you. <gasps> the sad. dude behind me? The dude in the black is going to try and grapple you. What the help heck? Go ahead and make an athletics check. You can do it. Have like, can, make can I give him acrobatics? guidance? Acrobatics. No, it's too late for that. Damn. Sorry, it's not your turn. You can't give him I can my hand. Acrobatics, you said. Ooh, Ooh, athletics or acrobatics. I will I give you a hint. I did just roll a natural 20. Wait a minute. I got a nine. Oh, no. You should have rolled better because I gave you bardic inspiration, right? If she chooses I, if to, I use choose it. to use it. If I choose to use that. I Sabo's grappled. You. I hit him. I hit so him he did okay. just roll a natural 20. So this figure in the dark, the dark cloak and the plague mask reaches around Sabo and is holding Sabo. Do I <laughs> squeezing him? Do I notice you him? Son of a yeah, you guys see that. Oh, okay. Not Sabo my was friend, not happy you about bitch. this. Uh, let go, you bastard. No, I don't want to let go. We'll let go next turn, no, Sabo says. <laughs> you let go. <laughs> Give up. Let go of your life. <gasps> Wait, I didn't wish. you just help me, Sabo says? Yeah, it was a trick. <gasps> it was a trick. It was a trick. You tricky bastard. Do I hear this? Sabo yeah, says you, you guys bastard. all hear this. Yeah, it was a trick, Sabo. You told me your secret. I have nothing. There's no reason to keep you around. What about your end of the deal, Sabo says? What about <laughs> dinner? Ew. I have fried chicken, Sabo says. <laughs> Hush, you're up. Hush is going to... Oh, man. Told the dead the black guy. Wow, a ra little bit racist, oh. huh? The black cloaked guy. Oh, okay, there we go. Sorry. Well, technically, Wasted nobody knows his race because he's got a mask on, so that's not really racist. He takes his mask off and it's Blade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he got a three. All right, so that's a D8. I love you. D8 is great. I got a five. Alrighty, five damage. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Hush. He's still holding on to Sabo, but you see him go, uh, he does not like that. He's Hold shitting. It. Anything else, Hush, you would like to do? Um. You still have a bonus action. Wait, did you Can I do anything to this guy? Nope, he's still, he's in, crawling around her arm. Can armor. I try to, that's an action? What? To try and grab that hand? Yeah, that'd be an action. Your bonus action would be like. Healing. Yeah, if it would be a bonus spell or something. No thanks, I'm good. Okay, <laughs> next up we have Garth. Well, I guess I'll uh, attack the same hand that I missed on. I'm okay. Pretty fucking pissed. <laughs> All right. And the way Bardic Inspiration works is you can inspire someone else too. Okay. It lasts for like ten minutes, I believe. But keep in mind, you only have a set number a day. I'm looking at the page. It says fifty a day <laughs> at level one. Sabo agrees with this, oh, even though he's grappled. Yeah. You know what, Sabo? Bardic Inspiration. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm probably going to need it to get out of this grapple since they're hard as shit to get out of. A number of times equal to your charisma modifier, a minimum of once. Oh, yeah. You so regain three. your expended uses when you finish a long rest. Cool. So long rest is eight hours? Yes. Okay. All right, Garth, what are you going to do, brother? Uh, I'm going to attack the hand, and uh, I'm fucking killing it. All righty. Roll that attack. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, 20... Oh, yeah, Three. that's oh, a hit. Yeah. Roll that damage, baby. It's been so long since I rolled damage. Oh, my <laughs> God. This is tantalizing. Kick his ass, Seabass. Six damage. Piercing. All right, you stab through it. Yes. And it's dead. Does it disappear? Nope. Oh. It just falls to the ground and starts to wither away. <gasps> that is disappearing. Even though I'm facing the opposite direction. Yeah. Can I turn to see what's going on with Cloak Boy? Yeah. And I can move still. You would get an attack of opportunity against you depending where you go. Right here. No, that's fine. You can move there. I'm going to move there. Okay. And I have an, a bonus action left. Yes. 
what can I do with my bonus you action? You have like bonus spells, like your healing word is a bonus action. Nope. Your no bardic spells. inspiration would be a bonus action. No like actions, like no grapple, no, rever no. reverse yeah. grapple. Negative. Could help okay. Get out of one if he was close enough. No, he could assist you, but that would be an action. Oh. Shit. Um. Like do you help. have a dagger? Dagger. I'll take that as so no. No. Is that it for Garth's turn? Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna walk him just. Mm. <laughs> like you have like a. Mm. Yeah, shove it in okay. the to uh, mask guys. <laughs> okay, he does. That's he it. does a little one back. <laughs> okay, now the hands are gonna attack. We got one on Hush, who got a natural nineteen, and that is going to be one damage. And then the one that is going to attack Sabo, a seven. So miss Ilria. I'm it's going also in. No, go ahead. It's also too late to probably change the mm to him. So you can speak freely, but it has to be on your turn. You can talk, and you can't say, like, full sentence. I mean, you can say, like, a sentence, but you can't have, like, like what me and Sabo did earlier. That couldn't really happen. Yeah, I know. That was just for fun. It was fun, though. Alrighty, Ilria. I'm going to hit that zombie with my rapier. Alrighty, attack away. I got a 19. That's a hit. Eight damage. Eight damage, damn. All righty, oh, good oh, attack. Oh, 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 I can go in with my dagger. Yeah, go ahead and you <laughs> slash once, stab oh, oh, with the rapier, oh. stabbing right through. Wait, where are you 15. going? Oh. To this one? No. That's oh. a hit. Zombie. He's not oh. dead yet. Zombie. Um, and he gets six more damage. You stab your rapier through this zombie's shoulder, and then you take the dagger and stab into his torso, and you notice that as you do this, as you cut into his chest, into his torso, ripping part of the clothing. Underneath the clothing, you notice that he's wearing a necklace, and attached to that necklace is a small golden key with a purple loop. Alrighty, next up, we have Sabo. How does this grapple stuff work? If you want to use your action to try to break out of it, we make opposing checks. And you get, what, plus five to yours, since you already have me in the hold? No, it's not like that. You can use athletics or acrobatics. Is Sabo happy? Sabo is not happy. Sabo is probably going to be stuck in this grapple. He's got, Sabo got an 11. <laughs> Sabo's getting tugged. That actually beat it because he oh. rolled a six. Oh, Sabo. <laughs> Get off me. Oh. Sabo says. <laughs> you wouldn't like Sabo when he's angry. Sabo's not happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, unfortunately, that is your action to break out of that, though. So, that would be your turn, but you're no longer grappled. Now, you don't get an opportunity to re-grapple me after I get out, do you? He can try, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, like, that, right, right now? No, it'd have okay. to be on his turn, which just, he is next. Oh, man. Fuck yeah. Alrighty, so next up, we have the zombies. So the zombie is going to try, the first one is going to try and attack Ilria, the one that you're beating up. That's going to be a 17. Uh-oh. You take three damage, and the one that is in front of Sabo going to rip off his plague mask, and you see another zombie underneath this. Rotting flesh, nasty teeth. He's gonna lean in and try to bite you <gasps> with a natural one. Ooh. And so as he goes to do that, you take your quarter stuff and kind of jam it up into the top of his mouth, and you're kind of holding him at bay, holding him away right Not now. Not gonna hit me, boy. <laughs> Sabo <Sabo's> says. <laughs> <laughs> and next up is Hush. Few people have On. taken damage. If it's a natural one, does on. he almost try to bite him but miss and then bite the hand beside him? No, he does not. Okay. I'm going cool, to try to grab that hand again. Okay. And throw it in the water. Okay, go ahead and make an acrobatics check. Can I do athletics? Or athletics. <gasps> yeah, I'm sorry. 15. 15, just barely. So you grab this hand and you throw it down in the water. Does it do anything? It just splashes in there. He throws it down in there. But it's off you now. Wait, you tried to hold its hand? She grabbed it and flung it off. Hold that hand. Trying to that Tucker. So grabbed it, flung it off, and that is into your, the water. Into I the water. To see if the water did anything. Uh, didn't appear to. Just appeared to be dark water splashed in there. Who is hurt really bad? Is anybody hurt really bad, or is it just me? You see a zombie trying to eat Sabo. You see one that's scratching Ilria. That was an action, though, right? Yeah, but you're, you have a bonus action if you want to heal with a healing word. I'm going to yell, Are your heals cantrips, or do they cost a spell slot? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be one first level. Spell slot? Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Alrighty. All right. You could, I mean, you also have that same healing spell. Oh. Uh, healing word. Okay. Oh. All right, is that it for Hush? For right now, yeah. Next up, Garth. I ran over to the hooded figure, and between him 
Yeah. Sabo in the hand. Yes. And I'm going to make a persuasion. Who are you? What is your name? <clears throat> hey, who are you? <laughs> What's your name, Cloak Stranger? Well, he has a staff in his mouth right now. <sighs> but um, oh. you hear, you can kind of hear him say, Just, oh, yeah, I'm the groundskeeper here. My name's Deeker. I didn't really Was that a name on the wall? Or was it Dieter? Um, you didn't read the plaque on the wall. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I believe Hush did. And Fair I play. Did you read all those names out loud? Fair play. Yeah, but he says his name is Deeker the Groundskeeper. Was Deeker on All right, well, no. I'll, t- I'll attack the hand. Okay. On to you, fucker. Oh, <laughs> I hope this hand strangles you. Stranglehold. 21. Yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> you son of a bitch. How much strangling five damage. You going son on. of a bitch. Yeah, five damage. You, just, you kill that hand. Good deal. Hands off my boy Kill toy. It. Oh. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes <laughs> you got a good hand. Sometimes you get dealt a bad hand. You got to know when to hold them to for no one to fold them. What else would you like to do, you Garth? Run to walk away. Um, Party on, guys. Mm. Wait, that was my action, right? Yes. So grappling is also an action? Yes. Pushing? Also an action. Action. Because it's literally an action. Action. Gotcha. <laughs> And bonus actions are just spells or... Attack with your offhand. Different classes will have abilities for bonus. Attack. So I only have a rapier. That's a one-handed weapon. Yes. So my other hand is free. Yes. Could I bop him? (laughs) Bop him with my hand? Bop it. No. Twist it. What can Mm -hmm. I do with that other hand to the cloaked man? Pull it? Uh, Nothing, probably. Uh, I'm going to (laughs) wave my hand like an incessant child in his face. Okay. Oh, uh, like just uh in his okay. fucking face. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. I like that a lot. It's frustration. I can tell. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Good move. Next <laughs> up, we have the hand. There's only one left in Good the water. Move. And you see the hand just kind of swim best he can and start trying to crawl back out of this this thing of water. So it crawls up and out, but that's it. It takes his full turn to do that. Next up, Ilria. I'm going to take my rapier and uh, go for Mr. Zombie Man again. Cool, let's do it. 17. That's a hit. Full damage with the rapier. 13 for the dagger. To hit? Yeah. Uh, I believe that's a hit. That is a hit. Three. Three. So you stab it with the dagger right into its chest again, and the zombie falls to the ground. However, three damage. However, you would expect it to stay down, but it doesn't. As, as this zombie is stabbed and it's about to crush down to the ground, fall limp, it starts to rise back up. Oh, well, that's not good. Not good at all. <laughs> all righty. Is that it for Ilria? Yes. Does everyone see this kind of happen? Um, we're, all kind of enga- we're all kind of engaged in combat kind Hush of thing. sees it. Okay. Next up is Sabo. If Sabo wanted to roll something to figure, like maybe a knowledge check or some type of religious check, see why the zombie was getting back up. Make a religion check. <laughs> Sabo has this. Ooh, 21. Sabo, 21. You haven't fought a whole lot of undead before, but being in a monastery uh, and raised there, you have learned how to deal with different creatures. You do know that some zombies, some undead, have an undead fortitude, which means you would expect to kill them, but sometimes they just don't seem to stay down. They get right back up. There's no we- it won't. There's no weakness. I, you just I, gotta you, get a good shot in there. Wait, do you have to take it? It's con constitution down to a certain, or is there anything below zero? You don't know. Oh, okay. My bad. You don't know. No, no, you're all right. Don't. My bad. That was a really good move. I like that. All right, Sabo. That doesn't take a move no, or anything. No, you can just do the sweet. Do that. All yeah. right, now Sabo is gonna attack this other zombie. Oh, he did. He is I mean, right you next don't, to me. He is a zombie. You don't know what he is actually. Damn. Okay, so you miss with the quarter staff. He is kind of, you went to go swing it, but he, now he's biting down hard on it, so you were unable to yank it out of his mouth, the uh, quarter staff. So go ahead and do your martial arts move I'm now. I'm going to try and do, like, the hardest punch that Sabo can muster. Oh, okay. And yeah. right into his gust. I mean, his, his oh, guts. Yeah. Is that you all the guts that you can muster? I said good morning, you mongrels. 16, Sabo? Hell yeah, roll that damage. <laughs> 16, Sabo? Sabo? Question mark? Four damage, Sabo says. Cool, nicely done, nicely done. Sabo is finished. All righty, now we got the zombies, baby. One on Ilria, one on Sabo. Take her out, zombie. Let's see, the one on Sabo, I rolled a 10, 13. 
Sabo is safe. Oh, you son of a bitch. You did say 13, You right? son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm at 14. I'm at 15. What? You're safe for now. Ilria. Natural 15. So that's going to be an 18. She's going down without a fight. Hey, she hasn't been healed. No one's healing. I'm surprised. I didn't, you got I, two healers. I asked. And no one said anything. You take three damage. Both of our healers did ask if anybody needs healing. Okay. Next up, we have Hush. Just a little Hush. I'm going to take my morning star. Yeah. And smack that hand. Okay. It's on the edge right there. Living on the edge. There's something wrong in the world today. 13. That's a hit. Right on the dot. 13 armor class. Noise. Noise. Take it out, <gasps> Sabo says. Six. Six damage. You smash this hand, piercing it with the morning star, and it falls back in the water. Deader than a doornail. And then I'm going to point at Ilria. You point at her. Point at her. What do you do? The finger guns. Finger gun. And I say, here's a little... You're holding a shield and a morning star. She can't tell you're pointing oh. finger guns at her. <laughs> She thinks you're challenging her to a duel. <laughs> I and I say, here you go. <laughs> wow. Man, man. You feel the divine magic light up. I like shiver and uh, like shimmy like words and Words of wisdom there. Who's your deity? I hate myself. Well, what's your deity? Saloon. Saloon. The symbol of saloon on your shield glows as you say, here you go. Here you go. And? And take this, you dirty rascal. You cutie. Wow. wow. What's I going wink. on there? Wait, stop the show. Stop the show. I, what is going on down here? <laughs> My character turns around and says, How much wow. does she wow. Wow. <laughs> Clive, Clive goes running down and says, Hey, uh, heard there was some girl Three. on girl action down here. <laughs> if y'all don't mind, I'll take a take a little I gander. I close the crypt door on him. No. <laughs> I just wanted to see. Show sure gave us the key, Clive. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> Go jump and jive. Next oh, yeah. up, <laughs> we have Shut Garth up. Crooks. I'm tired. I see that Sabo, Sabo is in a duel for his life with this ghoul. Yeah. So I'm going to bust him in the fucking head a of my rapier. Duel. Do it, man. Fucking rapier in his fucking oh, head. Duel. Wow, dude. His head must be fucked up from this rapier hit. 15? Yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You yeah. stab right through underneath his chin. It goes up through his chin and out through his mouth. I want the neck. I'm going for the neck. You like didn't the traps. Get good enough. Do you need a 16 for that? He goes. I'm not like other ghouls. Oh <laughs> shit! I'm not like. A, he's not like other ghouls. These aren't even ghouls, but I like Five that. Five damage piercing. Damn, dude. You fucking pierce Bronson him right through his jaw. Wait, if it's piercing, it's a stabbing yeah. or is that a slap? Stabbing. Can I stab and push? No. Nah, damn. Alrighty, do you want to do a bonus action? I don't know a bonus action, yeah, man. Well, you have a bonus spell, Healing Word or Bardic Inspiration. Oh, okay, I'm just noticing, since I'm such a great leader, that I notice, I look around and look for people who are hurt or not. Yeah. Uh, Sabo is fine. Don't I'm okay. worry about and him. And I continue on. Alrighty, next up. The hands are all gone, so it is Ilria's oh, wait. turn. Yes. Is the uh, staff out of his mouth? Um. Yeah, he's kind of holding him at bay. He's holding him at Michael Bay's house. Like I said before, creature, who the hell are you? What's your name? I'm Eeker, the groundskeeper. I'm going to, uh, what's not deception? Insight is seeing if they're lying? Yeah. Okay. 17. Um, he's lying. He, like, he was just hiding behind this door. The groundskeeper, he's a zombie. You can tell he just kind of picked that name out of the air. Okay. Why he's lying, you don't know. I have a feeling this motherfucker's lying. This ain't Deacon. I'm not lying. Are you, Nicholas? I'm not Nicholas. Then if you don't show Nick us where Nicholas is, I'm you're dead. I'm not Nicky. Oh. Hey, Cassius. Oh. <laughs> it's me, little Nicky. I have a feeling this motherfucker is Nicholas, and if he ain't going to show us, then let's kill him. <laughs> Nicholas is five years old. <laughs> Like, this is a Nicholas is a man. child. Man, I'm fucking <laughs> half drunk. <laughs> Alrighty, drunk. Ilria, you're up. I'm going to rip the key off of the zombie's neck. Okay, go ahead and we'll try to make... That's going to be your action to do that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, go Hell ahead yeah. and uh, we'll make opposing checks to see it's sort of like a grapple. And actually make a sleight of hand check. Make a sleight of hand. 
I fucking fail because I rolled a two. A two, yeah, you can't do it. The, even though the zombie's slow, he does a lean back, lean back, and he does it perfectly, and your hand misses where the key is. All right. But does it slide down and touch his breast? You actually, <laughs> from where his clothes are ripped, you actually pinched his nipple just a little bit. <laughs> Fuck Ooh. all that. And as much as a zombie can smile, he does. I wink at him. All righty. I run to the door and hug oh, Clive, and we both go, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> strange. <laughs> All right, is that it for Ilria? You know what? No, I'm going to move. So he's going to get an attack of opportunity. Okay. Going for it, huh? Where are you going to move to? You're wild. What? Okay, you're going to go jump in the in the water? Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, he rolled a 16, so <laughs> that's going to be a 19. 19. You're going to be dead by the time you get to that water. You take four damage. All that healing for nothing. And I'm in the water. Okay, you jump in the dark water. It's cold. It's five feet deep, and it's just dark and cold. <laughs> I have a whole foot that's just... <laughs> and there is a, a dead floating hand in there with you. I pick it up and I throw it out. I say, get out of here, hand. You throw it out. Alrighty, like there's like a frisbee in the water. <laughs> okay, next Smoke up is Sabo. Hand in the water. Um, I, got, I got a question. <laughs> yeah. When other, like, my pals kill somebody off, am I allowed to, in character, congratulate them? Yeah. Hell when yeah. it's not my turn? <laughs> yeah, dude. I like that. I want more stuff to be going on. Okay. Just want to make sure. Hell yeah. Get excited for each other. Something cool happens. There's a kill. Something cool. Someone rolls high. Get excited. Sabo is going to turn to this piece of shit zombie fake-ass <laughs> motherfucker. Damn, all right. And he's going to attack him with his quarterstaff again. All right. Let's do it. Sabo hits with a 21. Ooh. Sabo strike. Hey. Sabo does not hit. <gasps> what? I didn't like your tone of voice. Sorry. No, you hit. Oh. I was like, wait a second. Son of a you bitch. Increase it. Thumb you hit. Over. Sabo strike. Uh, Sabo strike. Sabo says strike. <laughs> How much damage? Eight damage, Sabo says strike. Eight damage. <laughs> he falls to the ground. Yay! And unlike the other one, he does not get back up. Can I, uh, can Sabo just do his martial arts? Try and, like, stomp on his head to squid, make sure for sure, sure, sure yeah, that he do doesn't that. get up? You can do that. I like that. I was gonna roll. That didn't happen. Sabo <laughs> rolled a natural one. You, you have advantage <laughs> because he is laying on the ground prone. You like Bill again. Cosby, take advantage. Wait, does that mean I get to oh, roll again? No. Oh my god, the prone <laughs> bone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, advantage yeah, means bro. you roll two d20s, so. Yeah. Ooh. Another uh, Sabo roll the 21. Yeah. Jeez. Sabo. Do it. Roll some damage. Go Sabo, Hush says. Oh, <laughs> don't you even steal his gimmick. <laughs> so Sabo smashes down on this fake-ass zombie's head with Sabo foot smash. Fuck, yeah, so you smash well, through his skull. Damage. Just Smash oh, yeah. completely wow. through his head. Smither it like a fucking jack-o'-lantern, Take dude. that, Nicholas, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Damn. Really? Cool. Yeah. Did you want to move? You can have <laughs> You're a move like shocked left. for yourself. Well, really? I was expecting... Sabo was expecting him to get back up like the other zombie. Um, I get knocked down. I get if, again. <laughs> if Sabo moves... There's one. Is he gonna get left. into uh, is that zombie getting an attack of opportunity nope. if I move into his range? Nope. You only get an attack of opportunity if you if leave you oh, a creature's leave. threat range. Oh, yep. Okay. That's good. So you want to move there? All right. Thanks, cool. Garth. So you I move mean, there. Too. It is now the zombie's turn. He's gonna try and uh, slam me on the ground. Roll a sixteen plus three and nineteen. I'm rolling pretty 19. well now. Yeah, the hits, I hit Sabo. You take six damage. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, he fucking hit you hard. Six damage. From this thing was already taken down once. What are you doing? I was sitting Indian style on the chair and my leg <laughs> slipped off. And I think I pulled a butt muscle. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Alrighty, next up is Hush. Sabo could use some Hush. possible healing if you have any more. Uh, Sabo's healing. looking rough. Sabo says. Wait, how many salts do I have? Two? You only use one spell. Wait, what spell did you use? Healing word? Yeah. yeah. So I'll do healing word again for Sabo says. Sabo says, need healing. Huh? Please, and Sabo And I do says. the points again. You look like a reptile doing the acid orb move in Mortal Kombat <laughs> 2, but okay, let's I see. I don't know it. what that is. And I say, here you go, Sabo says. And uh, you get five. Five oh, healing that's great. to Sabo. I'm only one below. 
Thank you, Sabo okay. says. You're welcome, Sabo's Hush looking says. pretty good. As the symbol of Saloon on your shield glows bright with radiant light. And then I'm light. going to run up to that zombie. No, just kidding. I won't run. And as you cast your healing spell with the radiant light glowing from your shield, you see the zombie kind of wince away from your direction. Oh, and I'm going to toll the dead. Okay. And the zombie. 14. What's your DC? 12. 12. Okay, yeah. He succeeds on it. All righty. Did you want to move or anything, Hush? No, thank you. Okay. Now it is Garth's turn. I'm going to uh, walk... Uh, his body's just laying here? Yes, with a stomped head. Yeah, we're gonna check that shit out a little bit later. I'm gonna walk over to zombie fucker. Yeah. And I am going to become the zombie fucker. You're gonna oh. fuck the zombie? 100%. Okay, well, let's fuck it. <laughs> so oh I'm gosh. gonna attack it with the rapier? Alright, roll that attack. Can I make a perception on it? Is that a free action? Uh, sure. They see him rolling. I'm just gonna... I've heard that the battle's been going on here, so I kind of want to see how many wounds it has. It's got a lot. It's been stabbed by Ilria like four or five times. It's looking pretty beat up. Seven perception. I don't really see much on it. Just, you know, some... Just ripped clothes, and you, okay. you do see a key around its neck. Oh, a key? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's almost like I was metagaming to try and find that out. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to attack now. Fucking shit. Yeah, karma, baby. What'd you get? 13. Yeah, that's a hit, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Max damage? You guys want max damage? Yeah. Yeah, here it is. <gasps> Very close. Seven damage. It needs to make. It falls to the ground. And stays down. Woo! As you nice. kill and finish off the last zombie in this room. Finish off. says, good job, Garth. I man. clap from the water. Hell yeah. <gasps> slow clap. And as, as you are celebrating your victory and slow clapping, somewhere echoing, you hear a woman scream, ah! and that's where we'll shut it off for this episode. Okay. Wait, are we going to pick up right here? Right here next time. Because I want to search the bodies and everything. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You're not going to make just, that fucker disappear on us, are We just heard a you? woman scream. No, I want to search we'll take the a picture. bodies. Right, anything want... before I hit stop. Final words. Of From the Chase Collective. Someone's gonna die in this crypt. Alright. I'm looking at you three. It's definitely gonna be fucking Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> Again.